Good morning to Dr. Hadiman. We are from Group 4. I am Angeli Jasmine. My metric number is 78832. To begin with, the title for our project is Chess Can Improve the Symptoms of ADHD. ADHD is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Chess is a board game of strategic skills for two players which played on a checkered board on which each playing piece is moved according to precise rules. Chess involves an intense intellectual challenge that's good for the health and mind. Playing chess is quite challenging, but it can improve the effectiveness of therapy sessions, especially for ADHD. Playing chess also can improve problem-solving skills, memorization skills, and can increase the IQ. By playing chess, the person can think deeply how to win the game and learn steps where to move. So, as a person diagnosed with ADHD, it is could help them in enhancing their IQ by playing chess. I will pass the next part to my friend. Thank you! Our group aiming is to admit ADHD. Condition of the brain with ADHD causes children difficult controlling their behavior in school and social setting. Students manifest a persistent a pattern of inability to focus or hyperactivity impulsivity, sudden, careless, abrupt act that occur without thought and interfere with functioning or development. Chess specifically prepared to train and work directly stimulating certain cognitive abilities. Chess is a mental game played by two players using a board of 64 black and white square and 16 piece each that gain attention in the academic field. Chess activates critical area of the brain involved in planning, judgment, memory, and visual processing. It activates both the left and the right hemisphere of the brain. If ADHD affects the very same part of the brain associated with thinking, paying attention, and planning, then chess is an effective interventional therapy for students with ADHD. Assalamualaikum and greetings with Dr. Hardiman. I am Nur Ladiasari binti Johari. My matrix number is 80656. It's an honor for me to share with everyone about our poster. In our poster, we are promoting the benefits of chess for ADHD patients. Our group decided to build a chess game in C++ programming to help to improve the symptoms of ADHD. In a 2016, Study involving 100 school-aged children with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD, researchers included regular chess, playing in a multifaceted treatment approach. Students who participate in this treatment method experience a 41% decrease in both inattentiveness and overactive following the course of treatment. With this program, we provide you a chess game to help to improve those who are diagnosed with ADHD among school-age children. That's all from us. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nazan Yanisa and this is my elementary number 8030. Today I'll be presenting the string animation of our project. Throughout this project, we have a content of variety of strong animation that is still for various factors. The strength of this project is that we have developed our teamwork by discussing and solving every problem together, which has to improve our communication skills. The chess game that we designed have the same rules as the board game, which are challenging and you have to explain your strategy carefully. Because of that, it can affect your concentration for your skills, which can train you to stay on task longer, control your action, and maintain your focus. The limitation of this project is we discovered that school students which is all target are no longer interested in chess because it's difficult to learn and complex. It's also incredibly time consuming and can be addiction to someone for a master in chess. Greetings to Dr. Hagiman. My name is Renko Carlos and my matrix number is F1043. As for my part, I am going to present about our system prototype which is our chess C++ program or chess game. So as we can see here, this is how our chess game looks like. And here are some brief explanation on our program. So now I will directly go to the C++ apps to show you 
how a program looks like and briefly explain about it. As we can see here, so here is how our chess game looks like. Welcome to chess game and here are the keys to symbols of our of the chess pieces and here are the rule on how to move the piece we can move it by selecting the row and column to another valid location using row and column so now i will show you how to play the game briefly so for the first move is the first player which is the white piece so i'm going to move the the piece on the second row of third column which is this one, the WP is the white bone. So now I will type 2 for the row and 3 for the column. And I will move it to the front here. So I will type the 3 for the third column, but add the third row and the third column. And as you can see here, the white bone or the white piece here move to the front so that's that's how to how, that's how we can move it this the chest piece i think that's all from my part thank you